everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to show you guys how I like to make chunk samples. I know that you can find a lot of pre-made samples in the portal, but sometimes it's nice to just make your own. That way you can choose which chunks you want to sample out, which hand creams, which face masks. So today I'm going to focus on how to make easy and cheap chunk samples. Another great benefit of making your own samples is that you get PV on the samples that you are making. This chunk right here is the one that I'm going to be doing today. This is our new Milking It chunk. On the website, you purchase it for $9, and at Pink Commission, you get $2.25 back, making this $6.75 out of pocket. With that $6.75, I am going to try and make 16 samples out of this. I like to do a generous size sample of the chunk because I want them to be able to use it in the shower for a few days, really see how it feels on their skin. So I do 16 out of a chunk bar. You could definitely do way more. You could cut my 16 in half and make it 32 and cut your cost in half as well. So I will microwave this chunk bar for maybe five seconds on each side. Test out your microwave first to see how the chunk does. Just do a few seconds at a time so that you don't melt the entire chunk and then use a sharp kitchen knife to slice it into your desired size samples. Okay, so here are my chunk samples all sliced up. Like I said before, I just put it in the microwave for five seconds on each side and then sliced it into 16 sample size chunks um, with a sharp kitchen knife. So after you have that done, the next thing that you are going to use is a plastic bag like this. You can find them at the jewelry making section in a store like Walmart, Joann's Fabrics, Michaels. They're usually used for people who store like beads in them or little things like that, but they are perfect for our chunk samples. These are about, you can get a hundred of them for $2. So they're really reasonably priced. They don't add a lot onto your sample making cost at all. So I take one chunk sample and slide it into the bag, zip it shut, and then roll it down so that the bag is the same size as the chunk. For my labels, I do something that is really simple. I go onto my Posh website and I take a screenshot of the product label that is on the actual product description. So I took a small screenshot of the Milking It chunk copy and pasted it onto a Word document and created 16 individual labels. So what I do is I actually just cut out each little square, and this is something that you can have your kids help you with, your assistant, anyone who's working with you. Um, it's a really simple task that you can have someone help you with. And this is also really cost effective. Simple enough, take the screenshot, copy and paste it onto the Word document, and then you have this nice little label. So then I take this label and it covers the size of the chunk perfectly. Let me show you guys. So it actually covers the size exactly. Um, and then I take some clear tape. I try and get a piece that is just about the size of the bag. And here you have your finished chunk sample. So for a little less than 40 cents per sample, you can get 16 samples out of our full size chunks. So I hope that this helps you guys and shows you a different way to make samples. All you need is your chunk, these small bags that I said you can get at Walmart, Joann's Fabrics, Michaels, any craft store, they're just small plastic bags. Copy and paste. Um, the product image from the website into a Word document and print it out, and then some clear tape. So I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial and it makes your sample making a little bit easier.